Welcome into the Chiefs Report Mailbag Time. Appreciate you guys for tuning in to today's show. Load them up. That way, producer Trace can find them. Hashtag Chiefs, or you can use the Super Chat function. Off the top, Tony Fuentes says, Hashtag Chiefs, loving Rumble. Guys, I'm telling you, Rumble, we're growing over there like crazy. Give us a follow. Help support the show. Rumble.com slash Chiefs TV. He's probably loving the Rumble app because you can use it in the background. If you're on your phone, you want to be on Twitter while you're listening to me, play the video on Rumble, uh, open a different app, use whatever. You can still hear it in the background. It's a great function. If you're going on a jog or whatever, you can have it on in the background as well. Rumble.com slash Chiefs TV. Next up is the real Dirty Dan. What about the corners who look like they could be picked up by us? Uh, like in the draft? Uh, Daxton Hill, versatile player. You can play corner or safety. Um, a day two guy, Roger McCreary out of Auburn. I don't think you're going to be in the mix for Derek Stingley or, you know, maybe you could trade up for Trent McDuffie. I like Kyler Gordon out of Washington. Uh, late first, early mid second round type of guy, I would guess. Uh, those are a few names uh, to monitor as we uh, get closer and closer to the NFL draft. Battle Cat, go get Clowney, trade up for McDuffie, and grab a wide receiver in round two. I don't mind that plan. Uh, you sign Clowney to be an edge for you. You trade up for McDuffie with one of your first-round picks and then uh, draft a receiver in the second round. Sure, I think it's a decent plan. Yes, Pack Harrison is El Goat. You can follow me on social media if you agree with Gas here. At HGram NFL on both Instagram and Twitter. Ask me more questions over there as we continue to grow on IG and Twitter. Chris, excited to see Juju return to 2018 form, possibly with Mahomes not throwing now throwing to him. Hopefully, I mean, that's the goal, right? Uh, he had, what, 1,400 yards that year? So... Look, he should get better opportunities with Mahomes than he did with Big Ben the past couple of years. There's no doubt about that. Big opportunity for Juju. Big opportunity for him to play well and cash in next year. So, yeah, I'm hopeful, and uh, I think uh, there's reason to be cautiously optimistic. Sean Drennan with a deep wide receiver class. Are you okay with not making a receiver taking one in round one? Yeah, I'm okay with it. I think it just depends on how the board falls. I mean, if there's a run of receivers in the first round and – you know, the best one on the board is Christian Watson or something like that, Alec Pierce, then I'd go a different direction. You know, don't force it. Uh, you do not have to force it. If you're forcing it as a GM, that's when you get in trouble. John Dutton, great show, great show. Uh, the real ones know. Would you rather trade up for Jamison Williams or Chris Olave? <sighs> Probably Williams for this team, but I do like Chris Olave too. He's a lot of fun, but... Uh, the upside of Williams is just too intriguing. Uh, 20 yards a catch, over 1,500 yards, 15 touchdowns. I mean, he's just so explosive, so fast, can take the top off a of defense at any time, can take a tunnel screen to the crib. Uh, he's fun. He's good. He's going to be good for a long time. I think uh, he's a guy uh, that I would be comfortable trading up for. Now, pick a receiver. Who would you rather have? Former teammates, by the way. Williams transferred from Ohio State to Alabama. Type JW for Jamison Williams, or you can type CO for Chris Olave. Rev Dev Bo, uh, are the Chiefs really making a run at Debo Samuel? Uh, there hasn't been hardcore reporting of that, but there's been chatter that maybe Debo could get traded. And if that's the case, then uh, the Chiefs wouldn't be doing their job if they weren't at least interested. I'd give it a small chance, but greater than zero chance. Dale Webb Jr. trade for Mike Williams. He just signed a new contract, and the Chargers are not trading him to the Chiefs. I can promise you that. So uh, I like the player, but uh, they paid him three years and $60 million. Chiefs Draft Network uh, shouldn't take Watson because of his 28% drop rate. Uh, it's not that high. I think it is like 13%, though, which is really high. That's another thing. Guys, he doesn't track the ball well, and he doesn't have good hands. Um, doesn't mean he can't work on that stuff. But first round, guys, there's good players. We can't just get obsessed with the physical attributes. Blake Morthland, chances for Keenan Allen since he's getting old. I mean, they're not going to trade him to the Chiefs. Same division. Not saying it never happens, but uh, I don't think the Chargers are trading him. He is good, though. Great route runner. Good release off the line of scrimmage, but he's not like that. What was he, 30 or so? 
Uh, he's got some good years left, and the Chargers are trying to win now. Trading Keenan Allen does not help you do that, so I don't think that's going to happen. Follow us on Rumble. We mentioned it earlier why you should because you can listen uh, with the app on in the background. Like YouTube, if you like swipe out of the app, uh, it, it just turns off. Uh, with Rumble, though, it can be on in the background. You can open other apps, so that's cool. Daily Chiefs videos, news, rumors, uh, live shows like this, plus uncensored content. Who wants to see me uncensored? Well, you can on Rumble. Rumble.com slash Chiefs TV. Give us a follow over there. All right, uh, uh, good uh, good name. You almost got me again. Uh, chances for Scary Terry or DK trade? Uh, I think DK is more likely, although I don't. I wouldn't say either is super likely. But uh, man, wow, got the yawns there. I like both players though. Mike Tilson, how many wins do you think it will take to get into the playoffs with S I Nan? What does that mean? C Nan? I don't know what that means. How many wins to make the playoffs? Eh, ten. You win ten games, you'll make the playoffs. May not win the division with ten, but ten wins. Rev Debo, if I'm the Chiefs, I'm double dipping at wideout and edge in the first two rounds. I like Sam Williams and George Kaloftis. Yeah, Williams is a good prospect. Now, he's got some maturity and off-field you know, red flags out of Ole Miss, but uh, it sounds like he matured some this year, so that's promising. Kaloftis out of Purdue. He's a good player, so yeah, I mean, you could do that. Now, I think you need a corner in there somewhere, but maybe you sign Gilmore, then you double dip at those two positions in the draft. You could do that. Who is your favorite player in this year's draft? Um, I love Traylon Burks. If he's there at 29, I would take him if I was the Chiefs. Let us know, though, your favorite player in this year's draft and maybe someone you'd like to see the Chiefs take. Tony Fuentes, will we find our Hill replacement? Well... As I've said time and time again, not one single guy will replace Tyreek Hill, but you could get Jamison Williams. You could draft another receiver. You could go sign another receiver. Uh, by committee, he could get replaced, but one single guy will not replace him. Nick Yates, what would you think if we traded both uh, first for Nick Visa, then re-signed Ingram? Nick Bosa? I think that's what you mean. Uh, I don't think he's getting traded anytime soon from San Francisco, but uh, Nick Bosa trade would be lit. Uh, re-sign Melvin Ingram. Sure that. I would trade 29 and 30 for Bosa and then re-sign Ingram. Absolutely. I don't think San Francisco's doing it, though. Jordan Ramsey, how do you feel about the Chiefs' schedule? We don't have the week-by-week -week schedule, but the opponents uh, we do. First place schedule, so it's always going to be tricky, but uh, it's been tricky the last several years. And this team still wins the division, so, uh, hey, I I'll say this. The six divisional games will be challenging. Sean Drennan, how far do we need to make it this season to trust in Veach still? I mean, that's all relative, right? Like, if the Chiefs have a down year this year and lose in the divisional round or something like that, are we all of a sudden going to be out on Veach? I don't think so. Uh, I think it would increase the pressure for the next season. But uh, if this team makes the playoffs, wins the division again, and you know, fall short in the playoffs. I don't think that's like, oh, this GM sucks. But, yeah, I mean, look, all eyes are on Brett Veach now after the Tyreek Hill trade. There's no doubt about that. Trey Young, you got a playing game to gear up for. Is it possible to trade a second-round pick for Josh Allen, the edge, a.k.a. the better Josh Allen? Uh, I think the Buffalo quarterback's the better one. But, uh, sure, I think you get him for less. I think you may get him for a third. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I'd be intrigued. There's been some rumors earlier this offseason about trading for the Jaguars edge rusher Josh Allen, uh, but those have quieted down in recent weeks. Dale Webb Jr. trades CEH for James White. I think the Bucks signed James White. Team to back up with Tom Brady. Um, that, that doesn't make sense, really, for either team. Um, I think CEH will be with the Chiefs this year, uh, but big year for him. He's got to prove it. Couple more here, Tay, bro. We need defense ASAP. Jordan Davis would be a different type of ball game. Trading up for him would be interesting because I don't think he's going to fall to 29. Uh, but is he worth trading up for? It's not your biggest need, but that that guy next to Chris Jones, I'm intrigued. All right, Oliver the Cat. How much for Debo? This is the last question. A first and then some, and then you got to pay him. I mean, probably a first and a second and maybe another pick. It's going to cost a lot. He does a lot for the 49ers team. 
All right, make sure you guys subscribe to the Chiefs Report. Uh, we greatly appreciate it. We can't get to every question, but we got to as many as we possibly could. So subscribe. We'll be back next Monday with another live episode where we answer all of your questions.